Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So, quick little thing really quick. We did a full intro on this video. We shot a lot of stuff. We have like 30 minutes of FL2K, a lot of stuff like that. But we found out that halfway through, but more like 99% of the way through, the mic was trashed. From the first video we took of this Honda, just basically blew apart my mic. And so there's no audio, so there's a lot of me like kind of talking over it. And we edited a lot of stuff down. But you'll see a couple of the E55 stuff, a couple random cars when we found out the audio was fixed or broken and I adjusted and then you'll kind of see what happened to my E55 but hope you guys like it stay tuned until the end I'm going to show more of the E55 what actually broke and so on and so forth hey guys welcome to ND72 this is Adam and we're out here with the E55 over at FL2K so as you can see here I got some ice on my supercharger trying to cool it down we just drove about like two and a half hours to come out here we didn't bring no trailer we're doing some real real G stuff Pretty cool, a little bit hot out here, probably like 85 degrees out. And look at the spot we got. Ooh, there's some cars around, a lot of people driving trailers, all that stuff. Pretty cool MR2 over there. Here we are out here all lined up at the 10-5 class for first round of qualifying. Looked over the car, looks pretty good. Still got to rock out my sunglasses because I technically am not allowed to not have them in the sun right now for another couple days with these eye drops. But doing pretty, pretty good. Hopefully the car doesn't blow up. Look at me all suited up. We got my son kiss in the pasture seat. Got some trash in there. Some good tunes. Full, full. Just drove it off the road. Going up there. Getting ready to stage up for a good old 5 <laughs> All right, guys, we're back in the pit lanes. So we did basically a 11 5 0, 0 The car wouldn't let me go past, like, 114. It felt really sluggish. It just, like, fell on his face partway down the track, and I'm just muttering through. And this is why. My belt was sliding right off. So basically, I had no boost most way down the track. And I don't really know why at this point. I, we were checking tires. We were checking a lot of stuff. I thought it was because of the new tire setup. I thought it was because of this plug. But... Clearly, it was just a belt. Luckily, we looked under the hood, and hopefully, it's not anything too crazy. But I'm pretty sure it is something crazy. But we're going to have to look deeper into this, and hopefully, it's not. So, unfortunately, it was something crazy that literally took me out of the race, took me out of the full event. And I'm going to throw a picture of what I went, when I went under the car. I was checking to make sure the belt was fixing all okay and all that stuff. Remember, my eyes were pretty shot that day, so I couldn't see that much. And the days prior, so even when I did my pre inspection my eyes were kind of like jacked up and i did not see what catastrophically broke on the car so if you can see down there the pulley is literally separated i can put my finger between the front part of the pulley and the back part of the pulley i'll post some pictures over here and show you what i exactly found So could I have just put the belt back on and kept running it? Yes. I could have, but it could have been a situation where the whole pulley basically separated, which is pretty much separated now. I do not know how long it's been going like that. This is a factory crank pulley that has like over 100,000 miles on it. It's a 20-year-old car. And I basically beat the poop out of this car all the time. So hopefully I wish I would have caught that in the beginning because I did have a spare one in my CLK over there. Granted, I'm not allowed to touch that car for another roughly year. So I don't know if I'm allowed to remove it. But I could at least order a pulley and got this taken care of. But So just to go over how my time slip and all that stuff went. If you look on that run, I did a 11.5, like 00 at like 114. So how the car felt as I did the launch, it felt good. And then like literally almost like a third of the way down, it just went blur. And I just kind of muttered through it. So basically I was coming, when I look at the data, I was going in and out, of, in and out of boost. So it was just slipping on and off. But to do 11.5 with basically no boost, 
in the heat, I think this car could have potentially have been compet been a competitor, but it did kind of screw me over, and it does suck. So the rest of the video, what you're going to kind of see is just, I went out there and just filmed a couple other people. You could see Crystal, who has the other E55. She was out there. I got to talk to her a little bit. Really nice lady. She has a really cool car. And she did some really good numbers on her car. So I'll put a couple clips there. A couple clips of some other cars I was just out there looking at. And it wasn't that bad of a day. So to conclude the whole FL2K experience, I had a lot of fun. It was a good day. Now, for some people who said, I live so close, why don't I just go right back home and throw my spare factory pulley back on? It cost me $1,000 because apparently AAA does not honor anything anymore. AAA is only 10 miles no matter how much you pay. So I had to spend $1,000 to get the car towed home. And by the time I got the car towed home, it just was I, I just was defeated mentally. I was, I think I was 13th in qualifying after like 35 cars so if i would have came back i probably would have been a little bit of competitive because it seems like a lot of cars were either going too fast or red lighting but i just didn't want to damage the car anymore i didn't want to have to spend another thousand dollars to tow it back in case something else breaks and the pulley i have is another 20 year old pulley off a car that hasn't been running in a while so i don't want to risk that but the car will be back i'm going to get a new crank pulley i'm going to be getting an upgraded crank pulley so i'm probably going to go like a 68 or maybe like a 75 i think there are options i'm not going to put too much more boost in this car just because i want to see what it can do so i'm shopping around for one right now i contacted a couple people to see who could kind of give me the best price and the best idea and all that stuff and who has one in stock because i do not want to have this car sitting for two or three months i want it literally back up in a week and i want to go back to the drag strip and get a lot more testing and go back in mexico so hope you guys like the video, like and subscribe. Sorry for all the audio issues. We will be upgrading a lot of stuff on the cameras and make sure this doesn't ever happen again. But make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.